Oh, that voice is iconic. Uh, his calls, whether they were good, bad, or indifferent, they're just memorable, right? There's so many times that you've heard his voice and you realize that, especially when the Yankees are having a chance to win, you could be doing something else somewhere else in the house and you hear that call, the Yankees win, Yankees win, it's indelible. I think that's one of the greatest um, things about someone is that they leave their mark with, with something that they're able to do and the gift that they have, and he definitely had a gift. Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, he was different. Um, you know, I've done radio shows with John over at WFAN and be growing up a Yankee fan um, and remember the first spring training when he started doing Yankee games as well as uh, as a young fan. Uh, you know, the, the home run calls that were specific to players uh, set him apart, brought about the, you know, personality. Uh, radio is, is a different beast as compared to television. Uh, it can be very, very intimate. Uh, and listening to baseball on radio as well, there's an art form to it. And if you are great at doing it on radio, um, it's really kind of uh, uh, music to your youth as a baseball fan. It's no doubt about it. And, and to baseball fans across the tri-state area for any radio broadcaster, really. But we're specifically talking here about John Sterling, you know, being a part of those dynastic Yankees in the late 90s, no doubt about it. You know, Michael Kay, John Sterling, Charlie Steiner, a number of people. And obviously, Susan Waldman, um, you know, has, has done a marvelous job that pairing in in recent memory they are iconic and two legendary yankee broadcasters so he's going to sorely be missed oh without a doubt